What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Call of Duty Vanguard yet again, and uh, I guess supposedly, as the title's gonna suggest, a COD leaker tried to ratio me. I guess he did ratio me, because I mean, he's a COD leaker. He's gonna have more viewers and followers than me. Uh, but I thought it was interesting, basically, not coming at me, because we kind of resolved it-ish, uh, but I'm just gonna explain what happened, and it's gonna have to do with Vanguard, so. Basically, if you didn't follow me on Twitter, I don't know why you're not. I mean, like, that's a huge miss. Okay, just just click the link in the description down below. Follow me on Twitter. While you're down there, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Okay, I say this every time. It's not a joke. Okay, I'm not playing. But anyway, I go on Twitter and I says, literally nothing to talk about in terms of Vanguard content, man. Right? Like, honestly, like, what what is there to talk about? Right? We've already talked about the beta. You know, your review on the beta, the your your thoughts on the maps, your thoughts on the guns. Like, there's nothing else really to talk about. We got some leaks here and there. Like, for instance, uh, we know that the Vanguard game file, like the file on your PC or Xbox or PS4. I'm sorry if you play on those, but your your file on whatever platform you play on is going to be significantly smaller than previous Call of Duties, mainly Modern Warfare and Cold War, right? So it's it's a good sign there. I mean, I don't think it's anything worth reporting an entire video on. I don't think it's worth jumping up and down about like, oh yeah, we can actually fit more than one Call of Duty on our hard drive without spending like a ton of money on another hard drive. Like, yay, okay, I, I don't see anyone, I don't see how people can be excited about that. Like, yes, it's good news, but I mean, I'm not jumping up and down about that. Anyway, Thunder ended up uh, quote tweeting me, basically agreeing with me, got like, you know, 80 something likes was cool and then the ghost of hope this cod leaker who i like i like this guy he's kind of a vanguard fanboy he's kind of a cod fanboy which i'm okay with you know i'm i'm opt i'm also optimistic for vanguard so I'm, I'm not hating on him i think a lot of people in the comments probably interpreted my my tweet as like kind of a you know vanguard stale vanguard sucks like all that kind of stuff like i I'm not saying it sucks. I'm just saying there's nothing to talk about. You know, I want to talk about this game. It's hard to make content on a game when you don't think there's anything to talk about. So basically, the Ghost of Hope comes back on this tweet. He quote tweets me and he says a bunch of things that are supposedly stuff that I can talk about. So let's go through it and dissect what I can talk about, what I've already talked about. So he starts off, there's an F ton to talk about. 16 6v6 maps, which you've already talked about. I've already praised how it's good news, how we haven't seen anything like that since like Mono Warfare 3. You know, I've already talked about this, okay? He says 18 perks. I did not know that there were 18 perks. I guess it's six times three. Yeah, six categories. Okay, yeah, it, may, it makes sense. No, sorry, three categories of six. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I don't know every single perk off the top of my head. I don't think we've gotten every single perk. I think we've gotten like four or maybe five per category. So there's probably gonna be a few left over that we haven't been able to use slash explore. So, you know, since we haven't used them, I, I can only talk about what we've seen, what we know. And I'm pretty sure I've done a video on the perk leaks before as well. So I'm pretty sure I've talked about them as well. Next up, he talks about the 40 weapons at launch, as well as nine field upgrades and 19 kill streaks. Uh, the 40 weapons I've also talked about, it's a little low for my personal liking. I would prefer probably 50 to 60. I know that each weapon is going to have like a lot to max out, right? Like most weapons, I'm pretty sure in this thing in Vanguard uh, are gonna max out at like level 70, 75. So it's gonna be kind of a long grind for every single weapon, but I do wish that there was more variety. Like I know we're gonna get a bunch of DLC weapons, probably a bunch of melee weapons too. You know, I'm expecting that. Uh, so I'm hoping for good viable weapons, hopefully a good meta. That's really what I want in Vanguard. But like I said, 40 weapons, we talked about this. We've been new this, okay? It's nothing new yet. All right, next up is nine field upgrades. I don't think I knew all nine. I still don't. Um, I don't like how he didn't list them. It would have been nice if he listed those, but uh, I mean, Dead Silence, what else are you going to run, right? Like maybe Dead Silence you don't even need in this game because footsteps are, are minimal right now. Of course, they could tweak it. They could make it super loud uh, like in the in the, uh, the first few days of the game's launch. They could do that, you know, because they're, they're not known for sticking with anything. So they could switch it up. I honestly think so. And then I know there's like this RC drone or something that blows up at people. Uh, there's armor. Not a big fan of how, you know, there's a lot of them because I feel like the more there are, there's a higher chance that one of them is going to be completely busted, broken OP. So I, I really don't like that. I think they should just stick with the same, I don't know, five or six that, that work that aren't super broken. I really still don't really like how Dead Silence is, uh, is a field upgrade, but I guess with footsteps being so minimal, it's it's okay, I guess. He talks about 19 kill streaks. This is something I did not know was happening and I'm pretty excited for, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. 
19 killstreaks is a lot, all right? We didn't see this many in Modern Warfare. I think we saw this many, if not more, in Cold War, so that's a good thing. But I think when you have more killstreak, more killstreak options, it incentivizes people to kind of branch out, maybe choose something higher, all that kind of stuff, because it's like, why not, right? And um, while I don't like the fact that it's killstreaks, hey, there's another thing. I've done a video on this too. I've done a video on killstreaks versus score streaks. I just don't think it's it's not going to be good. You know, people aren't going to play the objective. I don't know why regular score streaks like Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, even Black Ops 4, why can't we just have that going forward in every single Call of Duty game and incentivize people to jump on flags, pick up tags, all that good stuff. You know, when you have this killstreak system like you do in Modern Warfare and now in Vanguard, it's not going to be good. People aren't going to be moving nearly as much. Uh, hopefully the maps aren't aren't terrible you know so far they're like 50 50 from what we've seen in the beta uh, but hopefully they're not terrible so that people just don't feel like they need to post up somewhere because mono warfare maps in respawn oh my goodness and then he rounds it out with a couple of new newer things that i don't think i talked about so first off combat pacing of course everyone's talked about this their thoughts on it you know how it's blitz mode uh there's like an aggro mode there's like a 6v6 8v8 10v10 16 versus 16 something like that i think it even goes up to like 20 versus 20 so it's cool i like it you know i think a lot of people are going to be playing this uh they're gonna find a mode that they just really care about they're really good at and i think they're gonna dive deep into that and not play anything else i'm worried a little bit about how it's gonna split up the player base because you know if everyone's playing 8v8 or something maybe no one's playing 6v6 and then you're just gonna go and show sweats or something i don't know maybe there's gonna be one mode where sweats are gonna gravitate towards more so probably the bigger modes uh so maybe if you're like a casual or something maybe you want to stick to the 6v6 because it is going to be like a slower paced uh, i think it's called tactical also he talks about the new clan system this is something cool i actually didn't talk about this but you know after thinking about it for a while I do think that this clan system is going to be cool. You know, you can actually go up against other clans in like a kind of a, a pseudo competitive matchup, right? For search and destroy, domination, hard point, something like that. It's going to be kind of like a mini league play, I'm assuming. And maybe you can, you know, face off against other YouTube clans, other Twitch clans. Uh, you know, you can get your boys riled up and play like a six on six for search and destroy. Maybe like just for bragging rights, maybe for money. You know, it's it's cool. You know, I think that it's cool that they give that option. I kind of wish Modern Warfare did that. You know, even Cold War. I know Cold War league play but i know a lot of people don't like league playing cold war he also talks about operator progression this is something i can't be bothered to care about like yes it's it's cool that we can kind of like level them up maybe get some skins or camos for them but it's not why i'm playing call of duty so yeah i guess then he talks about weapon mastery challenges uh this is something that's in every single call of duty game right like gold Diamond, uh, Dark Matter, Platinum, any kind of camo grind, right? Maxing it out. Black Ops 2, you could prestige your weapons. Like, it's nothing new. What What's new about this? Unless I'm missing something here. Weapon Mastery Challenges. I'm not quite sure what he means by that. But uh, either way, that's kind of the last thing he talks about. The last thing he really talks about is lots of customization options. Very generic, very bland statement. Like, you could, you could say that about McDonald's, right? You can customize your burger a, a lot of ways. Taco Bell that doesn't really tell you anything about the game so i don't know I, I i get what he's trying to do here and again i don't take offense i hope he didn't take offense to my responses because i did reply to him what did i say basically i said like yeah we knew this for a few weeks now is there any new information and he's like yeah they have a lot yet to reveal but a lot of this stuff isn't even officially revealed so uh, i i get it you know i get that the game isn't out yet so we're not going to have stuff i'm just saying maybe reveal some stuff you know as we're moving closer to the game maybe reveal you know a couple of maps some more screenshots some new game modes or something you know just try to get some hype going but they just don't want to talk about it until until the game launches and i'm really hoping that the game doesn't launch in like a poor state where you can't you know join on friends you can't play certain modes um server issue you know i'm just hoping that it, it's really not happening personally i'm not that excited for the launch day i figure this is going to be a game i'm going to be playing for at least a year you know Ho hopefully at least a year if it if it sucks completely and i have to go back to modern warfare i'm going to be super sad but hopefully i can play for at least you know i'd say eight months maybe uh it's gonna have a lot of launch content you know six, 16 maps that's really good uh, a lot of weapons to grind for so i'm excited for it, you know it seems like it's got content the maps haven't been super disappointed so far uh, it's not like every map i've seen in the beta has been terrible so far so i like it it's just that I wish Call of Duty or Activision would drop some nuggets of information here and there that just it'd be, you know, more interesting, more exciting than just talking about goodbye Cold War.
Cold War for like the millionth time. So I'm not doing that. Anyway, yeah, that's that's basically what's been going on. Appreciate you guys for sticking around for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. I will be streaming hopefully on Twitch more so. And maybe I'll try a YouTube stream here and there. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'm out of time, guys. Have a great day and peace.